Dear all, welcome to this new tutorial. In just 13 minutes, you are going to see everything you need to know to start coding in HTML, even if you start from an absolute beginner level. HTML is one of the most used markup languages for web development, page layout, and visual graphics. If you visit any page and check its source code, you mostly get an HTML code that the browser translates into visual and interactive content. The actual version, HTML5, is even able to run without the need of third-party extensions, such as Adobe Flash. To start coding, you can use any textual editor, such as the free Notepad++ for Windows, or Atom if you own a Mac. Make sure to select the proper language to get help with useful colors and use your browser to test the result of your code. To start with HTML, type minor than, exclamation mark, doc type, and close with major than. This imposes all the HTML5 standards and rules over your document. Below it, you can finally write your code, starting with the HTML tag. Type an opening tag with minor than, HTML, and major than and then a closing tag with an additional forward slash. Within such tag, define a head tag and then a body tag that we are going to use in a while. The HTML tag containing head and body tags defines the basic structure of any HTML document where each tag remains independent. You may also add blank spaces and vacant lines to improve readability. Then save the current script as a .html file in a proper destination folder. Let's fill the head tag. This part collects all metadata for your site. With the title tag, you add a proper page title, the same that you get when the page is searched. Make sure to close this tag in the end, as done with the other tags. Moreover, you can add meta tags to add keywords and description for your page. These make use of the HTML attributes, such as additional modifiers within the same tag that set further options and configurations. We are going to see only part of these attributes in this video. Please check our video description to learn more. In this case, you can make a first meta tag by typing name, equal sign, and then adding keywords as value under double quotation marks. Then type content, equal sign, and add all the keywords for your site under double quotation marks and separated by commas. Close this meta tag with major than. In the same way, add a second meta tag to define the main page description, which is usually shown below the title when the site is searched. At this point, save the file and preview it with your browser with its complete path, name, and file format. The page is still completely blank but includes the title above and all metadata if you check its source code. To add content, text, or page layout, you have to work with the body tag. Let's start with some text. Text titles, or headings, are realized with H tags, plus a number from 1 to 6, from the biggest title to the smallest. After the opening tag, define the proper heading and then close the tag with an additional forward slash. Any new content after the H tag will start from a new line. Whereas, use the P tag to write any text paragraph. In respect to the H tag, this follows a normal text style, neither bigger or in bold. Each P tag is indeed an entire and independent paragraph. So when you add another P tag, this starts from a new line with proper spacing from the previous paragraph. If text is too long, you can continue on a new line with a single BR tag or drop an HR tag to add a horizontal separator. The text paragraph uses a black font color and a default font family that may change depending on the browser you use. To change the text style, you have to add proper tags within the P tag, such as B or strong, to make the text bold, U to make it underlined, EM to make it italic, mark to highlight it in yellow, and DEL to make it strike through. 
This works on headings as well. Just make sure to respect the syntax, or it may spread the new style over the whole document. To turn lines into comments, type minor than, exclamation mark, and dash dash, and close the comment with dash dash and major than. This obliges the browser to skip this part without erasing it from your HTML document. Now, let's make a second HTML document. This can be seen as the second page of this simple website. You can drop a numbered list with the OL tag, using LI tags for each line that gets ordered automatically. All these tags require a closing tag. You can also add a type attribute to change the format of the list. Whereas, use the UL tag to make a simple, non-ordered list instead. Now, let's build a table. With the table tag, you drop a table by defining each cell content row per row. Use the TR tag to set an entire row, and then use the TH tag to type each cell content column per column, from left to right, following a table header style. With other TR tags, you add other rows, using TD tags for a normal text format. Just make sure to add some spacing to keep the cells in line. Moreover, you can add the border attribute to apply table borders with a proper thickness, always under double quotation marks. To add hyperlinks, include any piece of text within the A tag and add the address link under double quotation marks as href attribute. This can be either an online URL or any offline file in your computer. By default, it opens within the same browser tab unless you add the target attribute with underscore blank under double quotation marks to open it on a new tab instead. To add images, use the IMG tag, one per each image. With the SRC attribute, define the complete path of the image file with name and format using dot to start from the location of your current HTML document. The IMG tag does not need any closing tag. Then include the alt attribute with any alternative text in case the image does not load or its link is broken. The image opens with its default size. You can adjust it by adding width and height attributes with specific pixel values. All these HTML tags can be combined together. For example, you can build any table with several images inside its cells. To include video files, use the video tag with width and height attributes to fix its size and pixels that must match the original video and the controls keyword to add a basic and useful player. Then continue with a source tag with the SRC attribute defining the file path and type to set the video format between .mp4 or .ogg. In the same way, you can import audio files with the audio tag with controls, SRC, and type attributes using audio-mpeg to include .mp3 files. You can also embed any YouTube video with the iframe tag. Define width and height and then an SRC attribute with a complete YouTube link. Now, let's see the basics of text formatting with the style attribute. This can be added within a P tag to change its appearance. You can type color, colon, and then the corresponding hexadecimal code to change the color for the whole text paragraph. Check our video description to find a free source for all hexadecimal color codes. Moreover, you can add a semicolon and go ahead with text-align colon center to apply a central alignment on such paragraph, or background-color to add any colored background. These attributes can also be applied to the whole page if added inside the body tag. In this example, a red background is applied on the whole page. 
There are really loads of formats that can be applied with the style attribute. You can learn more from the useful links in the video description. All these style attributes are inline, so specific to each single tag that include these. You may consider outline attribute styles to change the format of whole HTML tags. To do so, include a style tag within the head tag and define a set of properties for each HTML tag. In this case, h1 headings, p paragraphs, or a links. Add a curly bracket and then all the properties separated by a semicolon and on a new line to improve readability. In this case, all the h1 tags get centered and colored in fuchsia, and all the p tags get colored in red, whereas h2 tags won't get any special formatting since no style has been attached to them. If you start getting a long list, you may think to apply all these styles through an external file called Cascading Style Sheet (CSS). On a new file, define all the styles to be applied for each HTML tag as seen, and save all as a .css file. At this point, attach the file within the head tag of your HTML document with the link tag using Style Sheet as rel attribute and the complete file path as href. If you try to comment such link, you will get all your tags with the default formatting back again. This is all you need to know to start coding with HTML. Open our video description to download a very simple website complete with CSS file attached. Thank you for watching this super short tutorial. Subscribe to get more free and outstanding videos in the future.